Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to use some of the basics in VSDC Video Editor. Uh, now you can start a new project by clicking this button here, New Project. Or you can use one of the templates which are down here. Screen captures a screen recorder, video capture records from your webcam, you can import audio, photos, video. Uh, you can create a photo slideshow, it has its own built-in template and uh, we're going to do a blank project here. And then in the project title you just give it a name so uh, let's see VSDC Oops. tutorial one. All right so you have you have your name uh, it's 1920 by 1080 so it'll be full HD 1080p hit finish and you're presented with your working area. Now from here uh, you can use these buttons here, these three green buttons. This is to add a video, add sound or audio or uh, voiceovers that you've previously recorded or add an image, a uh, photo. So we're going to do video and uh, let's see where should I go let's see videos 2019 yeah we'll just go in here I guess okay so we'll throw that in I'm not even not even gonna really bother getting into uh, full ins and outs here but all right so we have this what's up everybody so today we're gonna dive back into metering modes uh, average or matrix depending on which camera brand you're using okay now in order for now for cutting and splitting uh, what you can do say if uh, I didn't like some of that and just play it back what's up everybody so today we're gonna dive back into metering modes uh, average or matrix depending on which camera brand you're using all right, so that was about eight seconds, somewhere around here, right after I say, depending on what camera brand you're using. Center and... Center... Using. Camera brand you're using. Okay, so let's move by one second forward. It looks like I'm still in the middle of saying something here center and oh perfect okay so what we're going to do now if you look over here you see there's a little square that means this is actually selected when it's not it's no longer highlighted so what we can do this here is your cursor which other video editors say is the playhead i prefer cursor because that's what it looks like to me but anyway uh so you just go up here to the cutting and splitting tool now you can either split this into separate parts. Now this whole thing is selected, so if you go to move it, it'll move both sections. Just click off and then click the section you want and then you can move it around, do whatever you want with it. Uh, but what we're going to actually do, let me just undo that here. Okay, what we're going to actually do is just take out the very beginning. So this little scissors, just click the little arrow and you want to trim the start trim the start and it's gone so now what we have is right here center and spot metering uh the difference is uh just the 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 distance of the array spread across uh the image all right so let's see let's go to nine seconds here image so it was a little after that um, how the okay and over here you can go to like frame by frame so when you're going frame by frame you can get exactly oh man my face looks weird uh, okay let's go here just before I say the next word uh, okay now I want to take out from here all the way across so Go back to the cutting and splitting tool and I'm going to trim the end. Bam! Gone. Uh, the difference is uh, just the, the, the distance of the array spread across uh, the image. 
Uh, the difference is... Okay. So, now if you want to add another clip, what you can do is move the cursor all the way to the next keyframe. So each one of these blocks that end is a keyframe. And uh, let's add another video. Uh... Hmm. Let's do a different. Let, let's do a totally different video here. Uh, what should I do? Unboxing. Sure. Oh, nope. I don't think that's supposed to be in there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> let's add that. So it adds it to the end. Um, let me undo that actually. Didn't even explain that. Okay, so when I go to edit a video and now you get this window and in here you can, different selections, uh, you can add it to the cursor position so it'll start. The end of the next clip you add will end where this cursor is. So it'll actually be over here and end here. Uh, you can do it from the scene beginning, which would be back here. Uh, you can do to the scene end, which would be however long, like this would still be the end of that clip. Um, and then however long it is back, like going backwards. Uh, you can do manual position, from manual position to manual position. Uh, what we're going to do is add it from the cursor position, so it'll begin here and carry on. So, now you have that, and from here you can move that, and we're going to do a transition quickly here. So, let's, you have to overlay the two videos. Now, this is the one that's on top, and this is the one that's underneath, so if you see as I move the cursor, you still see the original because it's on the top so it's the most visible but as soon as I get to the end you'll see it flips right over so what we're going to actually do here is we're going to split the audio of this one so over here in the right side is all your different controls and stuff and each one of these you can select and change like the times and all that uh, we're gonna split the audio and then we're going to select this, move this to the end. So this one with the little bar here is the very end of this clip. Then we're going to select the audio. And then we are going to trim the beginning of that audio. Trim start, boom. There you go. So now the audio will start when this starts so that you don't get the audio from both clips at the same time. And what we're going to do is actually add a fade to this one. So you go to video effects, go to transparency, fade out. Uh, let's change, it defaults to one second, but uh, let's see what that looks like. You can just grab the playhead, just click and drag. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, my face looked crazy there. Okay, so that looks all right. All right, so now let's move this back, play it and see what happens. The, the distance of the array spread across uh, the image. That's uh, the plastic area where the microphone and everything comes in. And there you go. That's pretty much all there is to it. And then when you're finished with everything, just go to export. You've got a bunch of different templates. Uh, it's set up for YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and then if there's a specific location you want to save the video to, then uh, you just go here, change the name, and then you have your, uh, you can, from here, you can just select where you want to save it, change the name, and you're done. And that's pretty much it.